Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. My name is Carol and I hope you will consider subscribing. So today we are going to be canning up some delicious pineapple. It's pretty easy to find pineapple throughout the season. So whenever you find some on sale at your local grocery store or your farmer's market, be sure to grab some and can them up and stick it in your home can pantry. Really delicious and easy to do. So canning guidelines state that pineapple should be hot packed. So I'm gonna show you how to um, hot pack your pineapple. That is the correct way to do it. I know there is a website out there, a familiar website out there stating that you can raw pack pineapple, but that is not what the guidelines state. That's not how it was tested. So we are going to hot pack it. You can can this in quarts or pints. We're gonna be canning in pints today. You can also can in the half pint jelly jars. If you do, you just have to use the processing times for pint jars. Now, to can up our pineapple, uh, the guidelines state that you can can in water. You can can in juice, apple or grape juice. I did not find any guidelines that stated that it had been tested to be canned in pineapple juice. I know I will get that question, but I do not have any resource that says that it's safe to do that. So um, if you're gonna use juice, make sure you use apple or you use uh, grape juice. You can also make a light or an extra light simple syrup, which is what I am going to be doing. To infuse more flavor into my simple syrup, I'm going to be using the core of the pineapple and put it in with my simple syrup, let it simmer gently with the lid on. We don't want any evaporation to happen. So the core of the pineapple is going to help infuse more delicious pineapple flavor into our light syrup. That's what I'm going to be using. I am an advocate of using a uh, light syrups for canning fruit, mainly because the sugar acts as a preservative and it helps to prolong the shelf life, in my opinion, of your fruit and it helps it to maintain its really pretty vibrant color. Uh, fruit tends to can discolor over time, even though it's still safe as long as your seal is intact. It can discolor a little bit using a sugar, a light sugar syrup, simple syrup, helps to prevent that from happening. I also thought we would get a little bit creative. I'm in the mood for the tropics because I'm really tired of winter. So I'm gonna be infusing even more flavor into my simple syrup. I'm gonna be using some coconut extract. Another great way to infuse flavor into your syrup would be to add a little bit of liqueur. You can add up to a half a cup for a batch of simple syrup if you would like boozy pineapple. Um, a coconut liqueur would be fantastic or even a pineapple liqueur. Adding about a half a cup to our simple syrup would make a delicious flavor as well. I'm just gonna be using pure coconut extract to add some coconut flavor to mine, but either one would be fantastic. So to get started, we are going to cut up our pineapple. If you choose to while you're cutting your pineapple, you can use the Fruit Fresh Produce Protector if you'd like. Two, four tablespoons to eight cups of water will help preserve the color of your pineapple. I'm only gonna be processing two pineapples today, so it's not gonna take me very long to cut it up, so I'm gonna skip that step. But if you're processing a large portion of um, canning up a large amount of pineapple, you might want to do that step, but that's totally optional. I'm gonna be steam canning. You guys know I love my steam canner. If you do not have a steam canner, it's totally fine to uh, use water the water bath canning method. Water bath canning and steam canning are interchangeable. The processing times are exactly the same. You can either cut your pineapple in slices or you can cut it in chunks. Either one is appropriate for uh, processing. So we're gonna start by taking our pineapple. I'm going to cut off the top and the bottom. I'm going to peel the pineapple, get rid of all of the eyes that I can, and I'm going to cut mine in chunks. Again, I'm going to take the core of the pineapple and I'm going to add it to my simple syrup. So to make my simple syrup, I'm going to use five and a quarter cups of water. I'm gonna use two and a quarter cups of sugar. I'm going to add the core of the pineapple and I'm also going to add a tablespoon of coconut extract. I'm going to simmer that with the lid on for 10 minutes. Okay, I've let my pineapple core simmer in my simple syrup for about 10 minutes. So now we're going to take out the core of the pineapple and it tastes so good. I hope you guys will give the coconut extract a try. It was really amazing and perfect. It pairs perfectly with pineapple. So we're gonna get rid of the core. 
And then we're going to carefully add our pineapple chunks or slices to our pan. Now, like I said, we just want to, we want to hot pack this. So we want to heat it through. The National Center of Home Food Preservation does state that it takes about 10 minutes to use this method, but I would stir the pineapple and I would check it throughout the 10 minutes. It may not take 10 minutes for everything to heat through. Um, so I would check it, um, but we do want everything to be hot. So it is important that you do thoroughly heat the pineapple through. Don't boil it to death. We just want to simmer it gently. And again, you're going to want to simmer it with the lid on. So once you get all your pineapple in there and cover it in the syrup, add your lid, bring it to a gentle simmer for approximately 10 minutes till it's heated through. While that's happening, you can get your canner and your jars ready. Okay, once your pineapple is heated through, you are all set for canning. I am using a steam canner as I stated, so I have three quarts of water, simmering water in my uh, steam canner ready to go. Uh, my pineapple has been heated through, so now we're ready for the canning process. You do not need to pre-sterilize jars or lids if you are processing for 10 minutes or more, and we are gonna be processing for 15 in pint jars. If you're doing quart jars, you're gonna process for 20. So we are all ready to fill our jars. So we're gonna use a slotted spoon to put our pineapple chunks into our jar to about a half of an inch head space. Then we're going to add our syrup to the half inch head space. You're gonna take a debubbling tool, plastic butter knife or chopstick to release your air bubbles. If your head space changes, you wanna make sure to add some more of your liquid. The other thing you wanna make sure of is that your fruit is completely covered in your uh, juice, water, or syrup. So we need a little bit more syrup. You just don't wanna go past your half of an inch headspace. So now we're gonna take a paper towel dipped in white vinegar and we're gonna clean the rim. We're using a sugar syrup here, so we wanna be careful to clean it real well. We don't want anything to interfere with a good seal. We're going to add our lid and then add our band to fingertip tight. And in the canner it goes. Okay guys, I, all my jars are full. Those two large pineapples gave me seven pint jars and I had some left over. Um, so we are all set for canning things up, but that could, gives you a rough idea of how much pineapple you need as opposed to how much you wanna can up. So two large pineapples gave me seven nice pint jars. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on our canner. If you are water bath canning, you wanna make sure you have enough water in your canner to cover your jars by at least an inch. You wanna bring it up to a full rolling boil before you start your processing time. If you are steam canning as I'm doing here, you have a dial gauge on the top of your canner that tells you when to start your processing time. We are going to, once you're up to temperature, we're gonna be processing for 15 minutes for pint jars. You can also use the half pint jelly jars and process for 15 minutes as well. Uh, once you reach, once you start your processing time, you want, or I'm sorry, once you start processing, you want to make sure that your temperature is just at a level that will maintain the full rolling boil or maintain staying in your green zone on your dial gauge on your steam canner. We don't want it boiling too vigorously throughout the canning process. So make sure that you have it set on a heat level that will just maintain that throughout the canning process. We're gonna process for 15 minutes and then I'll bring you back. Okay guys, we are all done. I processed for 15 minutes, just like I told you, and I've let my jar sit for about five minutes or so, but I wanted to show you how beautiful isn't that pretty and it is so good i hope you'll give the coconut infused simple syrup a try it is just amazing and complements the coat the pineapple very very well it gives you that sense of the tropics it's fantastic so i hope you'll give it a try also if you wanted to add a little bit of liquor to it and make them boozy pineapple chunks that would be fantastic as well thanks so much for joining me today guys if you have any comments or questions don't forget to leave them for me in the comment section below my video don't forget to like subscribe and share and i will see you next time have a great day